Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. I've just got a, a short video on the Thesis Open Hook plugin, which is a, uh, a hook manager, and I'll just show you what it is. Here it is. Here it's a plugin that you install. It's called Thesis Open Hook, and basically it gives you every different hook location on your whole site. Um, and, uh, and, all, and what you can do is you can add HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or PHP uh, into any of these boxes, and there's a, there's, a, there's a large range of them, and the content will appear in the location of the hook. Now there is a map which shows you every different location, and I've just uh, I've just published that to my site, so uh, you'll be able to see a, a map of all the different hook locations. Now this is an easy way to add content anywhere on your site without editing your, your PHP uh, functions file or your custom PHP file and thesis. So it's a really easy way to do it. Uh, I've tested it out myself. I've added a, uh, a Google custom search box to one of my thesis sites and it's very, very good. It's, uh, it works very, very well. Um, the only thing you may need to do is add some CSS if you want to, uh, if you just want to change the location a little bit, so, uh, which is pretty straightforward, but, uh, but adding videos, adding JavaScript, adding, adding CSS or, or, or anything to any of the, uh, the hook locations in Thesis is very, very easy when you're using the thesis open hook. So, so I recommend it for beginners and, and for people that really don't have the time to learn how to become a master of PHP. We'll just look at a, a, a quick example of, of just putting some, uh, I'm just making the map now so by the time you, you see this video it will be finished but I've just, I've just put in the first location WP head so we'll just see what, how that appears on, on thesis. Okay here we are at the front end so if you put something in that box it will appear up in the top left hand corner there so it can be anything you like you know any any type of code so and there's a whole stack of other locations and they'll be they'll cover your whole site so this is a really good way to uh, to customize your site and to add anything uh, anywhere in thesis there are other options with thesis open hook you can actually execute php uh, code in that location as well just make sure you wrap it in the the standard php tags uh, and there's also different uh, different things you can do as well in different locations. You can you can remove um, certain hooks as well. So it's uh, it's not just about adding content. You can remove or filter out um, certain existing um, existing uh, different things that Thesis already has offered uh, in, in the standard uh, installation. And here's an example of it, remove thesis nav menu. If you want to take out the whole nav menu, you can click here and, and remove it as well. And you can add your own PHP code in there and, uh, and execute PHP on that hook location before header. And you can do that in any of the, any of the hook locations. Here's another example here. If you want to remove the, um, the thesis previous and next post uh, links at the bottom of each post, you can do that here as well after content and you can add your own custom uh, pagination uh, pagination or whatever they call it in, in this box here <coughs> here's another one here you want to remove uh, post images you can do that here as well in the before post uh, hook so you can just click that and you can replace it with whatever you like and you can just put it in there I've actually actually written a full blog post on, on hooks, wordpress hooks and, uh, and, and the two different types of hooks, which are filters and actions, where you can filter out certain, uh, certain code and, uh, and you can replace it with, with, uh, with whatever you really like. So here's a list of the filters here, and here's an example, and I've also got a list of the different actions as well. So this is a basic beginner's guide to hooks. I think it's something to learn um, <coughs> if you're using Thesis. I think it's, it's it's certainly worthwhile and used in conjunction with the uh, the Open Hook plugin and the Hook Manager for Thesis. It'll it'll help you learn uh, about hooks and PHP. Cheers.